Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi everybody, it's Gigi again and um, we're trying something a little different today. I've got a new camera and we are trying to use it through the internet so hopefully we won't have all the interruptions that we had before when Corey and I were trying to do it on the phone, through Zoom, or whatever. So today we're going to work on Puss in the Corner, and it's going to look like this. It's going to have your um, half square triangles in the corners, and then you kind of just have a cross going through with the different um, one and a half inch squares. The center is a different one, then you have four um, one and a half inch squares around that, then four more that match this outer fabric. I don't think it matters if it doesn't match the outer fabric. It just helps with the design factor if it does. Um, I'm going to kind of put one together with you right now. In the booklet, it says for you to cut your um, four and seven eighths, I think it's, no, what is it, two and seven eighths inch squares like this, and um, then cut them in half, then sew them together opposite pieces. But if you want to make half square triangles, you could do like we did before, where you draw a line down the center. That is your cutting line, and then a fourth of an inch out, you do a line um, on either side of that center line. That is this, the, what you sew on, and then you can take your scissors. I try to put everything here so I don't have to move around too much. I try to keep my hands still. I'm learning. And cut right down the center on your cut line, and when you open it up, you have your half square triangles. So then I'll just press those and they'll be ready to go into the bottom. So here are my half square triangles for my actual my top piece. So I'll piece that together and we work together. There's three rows, I guess is what you're going to be working on if that's how you want to look at it. A half square triangle, two squares, and a half square triangle. Then the middle row is going to be all your little one and a half inch squares sewn together. And I saved this little part because I wanted you to see how they would fit together. So on this top piece, I ironed these seams going out, on either side going out. That way when I get to this piece, I will iron these seams going in. And so when I go to put it together, it will be really simple. They'll fit together. So let me iron them really quickly and show you what I mean by that. So, uh, this one in, this one in, and this one. So when I put right sides together, like so, so I have this right here. If I put this on top, I can feel where, let's see if you can see. See how this seam is going this way, and this seam is going that way. I don't know, can you see that pretty well? Then I can fit them together and nestle them together. And it's almost like putting together two Legos. They lock together. And then it's nice and flat. And then when you open it up, your seams will match one on top of the other. So ironing is important. And a lot of people don't like to do it, but it's important if you want to get a good seam um, with your quarter inch seam. Then our last part of our row will be, we'll sew these two squares together, like so, and we'll have our two new half square triangles that will go in the corners, and we'll end up with our puss in the corner. Half square triangles, that's what this is, it's half of a square that forms triangles, the name half square triangles, our one and a half inch squares all the way down and all the way across, and you piece it together row, and then a row, and then a row. So we're here 
on this one. I'm ready to sew this together. I'll just do that real quick so y'all can see. You can see how it comes together. Top row, middle row, and then we'll do our bottom row just like we did our top row. And the seams should match up nicely because on the back you can see I ironed these in and those out. And any other little tidbits? Keep your quarter inch seam as best you can. Draw lines if you need to. Put um, tape or post it notes or something there. I've got a little um, board like this that has a quarter inch seam on it that I use. I move it around from machine to machine that helps me. There's also, oh here it is, there's a little magnetic um, guide you can get that you can sit on top of your machine to help you keep your quarter inch seam right there um, at, quarter, at a quarter of an inch. And I hope everybody is successful with their puss in the corner. Thanks! This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Want a Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, Go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife quilt. Um, that's justwannaquilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Wanna Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome.